So, okay, next to my favorite, the cacao bean. Cacao bean was known as the food of God. And I will vouch for that. It is the food of the gods. Mm -hmm. It's what chocolate is made from. It's most widely eaten food in the world, but most people eat, in the, eat it in the processed form, which is just is not ideal. Cacao is not, it's a nut or a bean that actually grows on trees and tastes like a dark, bitter chocolate without anything done to it. The Aztecs used cacao to relieve their fatigue and stimulate their mental and psychic abilities. They also used chocolate as a drink base in many of their medicinal formulas. The Aztec nobility flavored their chocolate drink with vanilla and spices to ignite pleasure in their bodies. The Spanish invaders were surprised to find that cacao beans were valued more than any other substance, even more than gold. It was even used as currency up until late 1800. You see, money does grow on trees. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, also, chocolate is truly food for the heart due to its magnesium and antioxidant properties. It creates love chemicals within the body. Cacao opens up the heart. It heals on the physical, biochemical levels as well as on emotional, spiritual, and metaphysical levels. This is why people believe that the, that the Mayans owed their enlightenment to the cacao. Cacao also possesses sensual, pleasure-filled, and sexual energies that encourage thoughts of touch and fantasy. Remember Montezuma, the emperor of Aztecs? He was known to drink 50 cups of hot chocolate before visiting his harem. And you know what? He was onto something, as chocolate is one of the major sources of arginine, an amino acid which acts in much the same way as Viagra does, increasing blood flow to the penis and amplifying sexual desire. Boy, that man is Montezuma must have been a busy guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, he was. Um, so also, chocolate is the number one appetite suppressant in the world. But most chocolate, after being roasted and processed, has lost its integrity. This is why I decided to, make, uh, to take on making raw chocolate. There's no substitution for the quality in this wonderful food. Processed chocolate creates cravings for more chocolate because the real ingredient left when it's processed is mostly just sugar. The chocolate that suppresses appetite is actually the raw version. So Ada, I know this fact to be true because as you know, I completely personally have experienced the benefits of your chocolate and actually we have a bowl sitting right here and I think Odette's nibbling on a piece. <laughs> um, I really can't say enough about the quality. Um, just the flavor, it's delicious. And um, but why is it if you could let everybody know um, that chocolate in this form suppresses appetite? Sure. Raw chocolate decreases appetite because it's full of minerals such as magnesium, copper, manganese, iron, zinc, and chromium. The most essential component of well-being is a mineral-rich diet, and the most important one deficient in our society is magnesium. Chocolate is the richest source of magnesium. It supports the heart, brain function, increases alkalinity in the body, relaxes menstrual cramps and muscles. It opens up over 300 different detoxification and elimination pathways. Wow! Unbelievable! <laughs> yes, it's a magic food. Uh, Mayans and Aztecs refer to chocolate as yelote esli, which translates to hard blood. Interestingly enough, magnesium and antioxidants in the cacao support the heart directly. This amazing food gets us out of our head and turns on our heart. It seems to help the imbalance between the mind and heart along the mind to serve the heart, increasing the heart energy, setting forth compassion, healing, and unconditional love. I love this, Ava. So let's get this straight. If we want world peace and a compassionate society, we should be handing out chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good experiment. I should be sending some of my chocolate. Yes. <laughs> well, but there's actually so much more that chocolate does. The magnesium in chocolate activates all the neurons needed to produce energy from glucose. The brain works with focus and clarity when magnesium is in abundance. Richness of cacao in magnesium soothes PMS symptoms. That's why many women get cravings for it intuitively before their cycle, because magnesium levels drop considerably during women's cycle. Another reason is because cacao has natural endorphins. 
Women now can eat chocolate without any guilt or shame. Of course, this is only true for the raw chocolate. The process will do just the opposite. Also, cacao is a powerful delivery system, as we mentioned earlier, for other foods. In other words, when mixed with other powerful foods such as maca or dried fruits, their nutritional value is amplified. This is why I personally add things such as walnuts or dry berries or fruits and maca to my chocolate because their impact on your body is doubled if not tripled. You know, and I just want to say, this is your chocolates are really great to have in the office. I know for a lot of, especially my male clients, I work with a lot of attorneys, that their biggest thing is they have that bowl of chocolate in their office. So it's great to have your chocolates in the office handy. All right. With the maca, <laughs> so that when they have that slump at three o'clock, they grab one of your raw chocolates, have the maca, and watch out day. Well, yeah, I mean it depends who they're working next to. <laughs> well, That's true. And, and imagine if you're somebody like myself that is treating something like hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism mm -hmm. yeah. with maca, and I'm trying to stabilize it with maca, just knowing that I can eat a piece of chocolate that literally delivers twice the amount of maca into my body faster is the most amazing thing because it's so it's such a delicious way to heal the body. Yeah, it's just uh, instead of coffee really because it really stimulates your cardiovascular system and which you will get into later but it really gives you all that wonderful energy and doesn't send you on that roller coaster ride because you know we don't use sugars that do that. We use very low glycemic sugars. Cacao is also number one antioxidant in the world. It reduces the possibility of heart disease and reduces the bad cholesterol. Careful not to mix cacao with dairy because when it's done, the dairy cancels out the benefits of the antioxidants because dairy products block their absorption. Can you imagine a doctor today saying to their patient, let's not give you this pill to lower your cholesterol, let me give you a piece of Otto's chocolate. <laughs> Can you picture that? This is going to be the new year for oh, you. Yeah, well, let me tell you guys something. I know it sounds crazy and I know it's hard to believe that you have the ability to heal your body with food. But the truth of the matter is, Allah has done that, I've done that, and Michelle has done that. So we're here basically to support you and whatever your needs are to bring health into your life but to do it deliciously. And there's no better way than to bring some of these amazing foods to make you feel great and to heal your bodies at the same time. Think about chocolate because most people worry that chocolate has too much caffeine. It actually contains very little caffeine. What it does contain is theobromin, which is not a nervous system stimulant but a cardiovascular system stimulant, which is a great which is great for your heart. This is the reason actually why dogs are not allowed to eat they shouldn't eat chocolate because they, they like the enzyme to metabolize theobromin. And that theobromin also kills bacteria that causes cavities. Cacao is also rich in uh, phenyl phenylethylamines, or we'll just call it PEAs. PEA seems to create feelings of attraction, excitement, and euphoria. PEA levels increase when we fall in love, and it's abundant in brains of happy people. The brain releases PEA when we sexually arouse and can peak during orgasm. Chocolate seems to keep our PEA levels high no matter what happens in the love life. But scientifically speaking, PEA is the structural molecule behind neurotransmitters such as dopamine and adrenaline, and also noradrenaline. PEA also creates the activity of uh, neurotransmitters in parts of the brain that help the brain to pay attention and stay alert. It increases dopamine, which is needed for mental concentration and positive attitude. And noradrenaline increases the feeling of joy, which are caused by PAA. We already have discussed tryptophan a little bit, but cacao contains significant qualities of this essential amino acid. What we did not tell you that tryptophan is that um, it also helps you to produce melatonin, which is great for your sleep. Tryptophan is heat volatile and susceptible to damage by cooking and is very low in cooked food diets which made the reason why depression is on the rise. Eating raw cacao may be an excellent way to obtain tryptophan in your diet. Cacao also known as the ultimate optimism food. Nothing is impossible when you eat cacao. It's the way from rags to riches, from depression to absolute joy and euphoria, from confusion to clarity, from being lost to a beautiful vision and enlightenment. 
We have discussed a few great superfoods today with you and there's a few different ways to implement those into your diet. You can buy raw cacao nibs and add them to your morning smoothies with maca powder and some walnut or hemp seed, which is a great source of omega-3 and protein. You can sweeten it with raw and organic honey and add some coconut oil and water. Sprinkle some cinnamon and you're good to go for a few hours until your lunch time. Uh, you can also make a trial mix with cacao nibs, uh, goji berries and some almonds and um, have it in your purse. So thank you very much for sharing your time with me today and don't forget to look at the cooking demonstration that is yours with this webinar so that you have my special gift to you to add to your Valentine's Day evening. I hope you enjoy it with your sweetheart, whether it's your life partner or yourself, if you would like to make it even sweeter. You can log on to my website, uh, www.chocolata.com and order some raw and aphrodisiac infused chocolates to add more love and passion to your life. So everyone, let's wrap up and Ada, thank you. Oh, thank Very you. Very much. Thank you. Awesome seminar. Um, let's wrap up what we've learned here. So. The first thing is to love yourself. And remember those images of water so that your thoughts boost your health rather than create discord. And stay away from processed sugars. And you will win half the battle with your health, we promise. And don't forget the foods that you should work with to enhance your mental uh, power and acuity and to strengthen all of those love chemicals naturally in your body are vanilla, cinnamon, avocado, strawberries, coconut, pumpkin seeds, maca, and cacao. And I would also like to add here to stay on the lookout for our follow-up email to all of you that have signed up for this webinar with the recording of this webinar as well as the video teaching you how to use many of those foods we've just mentioned in one beautiful dessert to prepare on Valentine's Day for yourself or your loved one. That same email will also um, tell you about our webinar coming up next month with Diane Van Epps who will guide you through how to meditate in today's world effectively when you only have three to five minutes a day. So thank you for being on this call. Thank you. Thank you and happy Valentine's Day.